Hi all, Alan here from Damn Good Reviews. Today we're going to be looking at the latest version of Adobe Premiere Elements. This is Elements 11. Now this is of course the video editor and the Elements is the um, I guess the more consumer version of Adobe's uh, professional version of Premiere. They've changed a lot of stuff in 11 um, and I've used it for a few weeks now and it really handles all the formats excellent uh, everything from HD to AVC HD which a lot of the cameras are putting, putting out now on the SD cards and they have some really cool features especially for someone looking to get into video editing and not want to spend a lot of money uh, but also have uh, a lot of um, tools and options to really produce a professional looking video first let me just show you things the organizer before we jump into the actual video editor. Now this is the organizer and uh, of course this is just like a, a database and you can do some really cool things here um, everything from obviously organizing your media there's a couple ones that are missing here because I don't have another drive connected but then you can also tag things almost like on Facebook so we can go in and I can select this clip um, you can even click up top once you have all your clips but I, I selected this one and if I want to go ahead and I want to either adjust the date and time, uh, add a caption, I can update thumbnails, uh, ratings, and things like that if I want to rate the video. I can also add a person, which is kind of cool. So I can go here and I can type in, let's type in my name, and I go to right there, and it was successfully added. And then I can actually go ahead and I can search by tags. There you go. Same thing with uh, places and events. We can kind of describe what, what was going on. So let's see if this is going to do this for me. So, all right. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to place this. If I go ahead, I'm not sure if it's going to work because I don't have all of them set there. Okay, yeah, it's, it's not going to do it offhand because I don't have my other drives connected. But anyway, how this works is you'll have the media here. And then what you can do is you can select where something was shot. So, um, of course, it's not working also because of my network connection. But again, you'll be able to search based on this as well. And you can see where things are shot. Great for vacations and things like that. As a professional video editor, I would probably not use this. But for someone at home, I think this is a great option to have. Same thing goes for events. Um, you can set up your calendar if you want to search by events or anything like that. Really great way. And uh, this is helpful for organizing all your media. Now let's go ahead and move into Adobe Premiere Elements. So here's the uh, first screen. I believe when it starts up, you get the quick uh, menu, and Adobe has provided two editing options. They have a quick option and an expert option. A quick option makes it really, really simple for anyone looking to get into video editing to use. And for the most part, I've gone here, and you can have a bunch of different options if you want to capture straight from the camcorder, um, get a video from a DVD, uh, based camera, webcam, or files and folders. I already went ahead. I'm going to go ahead and get this. So uh, I got some videos here. So I'll just go ahead and select that. And now I have this here. So, okay, I see it. And I can go ahead and I can drop the file. And if I want to go ahead and add some more videos. Do that and there's quality problems that uh, sometimes smart fix will pick up and you can click yes and uh, sometimes it has to do with resolution shakiness or you know anything like that and it does a pretty good job so I can either do that and I can drag it in here I can record a narration drag uh, audio files into this and then I also have other options where if I want to do some transitions, I can go ahead and drag it right between here, select my duration, clips, and then we have some more options as well. 
so for the most part alright so I put that in there and this is HD so sometimes it takes um, you know some time you want to make sure you have a fast computer but if I go ahead and render it of course rendering makes the stuff go even faster but I am doing a screen capture so more memory is being taken up right now on my computer I have uh, my laptop it's a dual core core 2 duo with four gigabytes of RAM and uh, it runs pretty good sometimes I gotta scroll back but if you have something that has maybe a USB 3.0 drive I think you might be a little better off so there you go go and go down it's hard to see I guess with the uh, you know, with the screen capture going but anyway very easy to work with very easy to get started and you can do the same thing you can uh, you know go to the beginning points and the end points and and then you can click here and you can drag how much of the video you want to see you have your effects and all that stuff but when you're working make sure you do um, render the video we have your you can make the timeline smaller or larger whatever you want to do here same thing goes for this window you can drag and drop you can also go and you have um, some adjustments everything from smart fix color lighting temperature tint volume balance and you can get pretty detailed here sure it's not professional options but I mean it's pretty good um, and the options are definitely enough for someone that either wants to do uh, home movies or even you know some uh, some films yeah I don't see why not <coughs> applied effects we have motion, opacity, shadow, highlight, so you can take these and you can apply motion whether you, you want to zoom in or zoom out of the image or you know make the transparency less. And then we have other tools here. We have uh, other adjustments. We can do freeze frame, which is um, you know something that was not always easy to do where you would have to select a frame and export it. So a freeze frame grabs it right there. Um, you can add cool menus and that way you can burn it right to a disc. Uh, it's like an all-in-one uh, package. Narration, so you have your video ready to narrate it. Click this and you're good to go. A lot of options and a lot of automated options. Pan and zoom, smart mix, and that kind of mixes the background, makes your sound correct. Um, time remapping is one of their um, newer features and um, you, know, you can do some stuff with speeding up or slowing down a video and it, and it still looks great especially with HD and smart trim will help you make sure that your cuts uh, are smooth and really go together sometimes people have trouble with that you may see over here instant movie um, and for the most part you can drag in all your clips because we know movies take a long time to produce so if you have a home movie you have say 30 clips of your vacation and they're in order import them Hit instant movie, select your options. Let's go ahead and see if we can do it. You have a bunch of themes and it will go out on the internet and you can select other themes. I'm not gonna go through this right now, but um, you can click a bunch of them. It will analyze your clips, put it all together, make the edits where it thinks it should. And uh, the few times that I tried it with a few clips, it came out pretty good. I mean, for saving a lot of time, I was pretty impressed with it. We also have obviously our transitions, and we have everything from barn doors, cube spins, dip to white, you know, dissolves, everything like that. We can also add titles, and you have, if you want to do credits or crawl or just default text on this, we can do that. You can also get to it up here. And then we have other effects. We have, if we want to, you know, take a clip and maybe, you know, make it black and white or something like that. Let's see. So now it's black and white, or if we want to do something along the line of making it metallic, you know, who knows, something to play with, some some really cool stuff, a lot of effects to work with. We can also go ahead and add music tracks. They have a lot of ones that are already in here, and then we can also go ahead and, um, of course, add media and add your own. This goes for graphics as well, so if you want to add some... Um, of their animated graphics or even import some of your own graphics and put it on top of files um, you know you can do that here okay it's not gonna work because again no internet but you can go ahead and add it to your project so 
if you have uh, some more advanced background in video editing and feel this is just you know too easy Adobe has provided the expert mode which operates much more like a real video editor you can resize this you have a bunch of tracks you can add tracks delete tracks you have narration tracks soundtrack um, you can open these up if you want to go ahead in here and adjust your audio using keyframes and we still have a lot of the same applied effects so even if we went in here we wanted to scale something or anything like that or, and animate it to a certain amount of point you know to a certain amount we can opacity a lot of the same ones that we see here um, in the expert mode we have some other things like expert you can adjust the base and balance by itself and of course like we have color controls and again smart fix which you can just go ahead apply it I also didn't have any trouble um, bringing in two different types of formats I had one that was shot in 30 frames per second and one that was shot in 24 frames per second at 1080 and um, Premiere Elements 11 really handle it without a problem again we have most of our other options here same thing still instant movie we have um, our tools um, most of them are the same as you would see in the other menu we have our audio mixer or the smart mixture and you can, this will expand based on how many tracks you have this definitely opens up to a lot more options you click this and we'll see all the different options that we have from 3d motion dissolves um, effects from new blue 3d explosions and picture wipes slides special effects um, you know my thing unless you're producing a wedding video or a bar mitzvah video you know stay away from those crazy barn doors and things like that either you know a jump cut or a nice cross dissolve something like that unless you're really looking um, to do something over the top we have our titles and text again. These are different uh, presets that you can do. There's HD templates, um, and you can just go from that point right there. Same thing with effects. We have tons of different effects here. Everything from a, adjustments to keen, which is chroma keen. Uh, we can distort, video merge, stabilize. I mean, there is tons and tons of options here. I mean, they really did an excellent job providing, um, you know, users of Premiere Elements 11 with a lot of options to really do pretty much whatever they want with their video and deliver not only um, a high quality piece, but also have um, the tools to be able to deliver a professional quality piece as well. Same thing with music and same thing with graphics here that we saw before. Um, we can bring up a lot of the other um, menus right there uh, here as well I'll show you the text so say we want to do some default text I can change that and then obviously we'll put it right on top and then you know if we wanted to uh, maybe we wanted to adjust the clip a little bit we can go to the project assets and we could always do an in point and an out point drag it in where we want it and you can select stuff as well. Um, one problem that I did encounter was, you know, if we want to go on a clip right here, I would like two options. If I right click, I can group this stuff, but I have no way to lock a clip. Now, locking a clip works great if you're doing like music videos or anything like that. And I know, you know, they don't always include it, it's a more advanced feature but it does tend to be a problem especially when you're trying to work with any type of syncing of uh, audio I would really like to see that added back in um, I would also like to see maybe uh, some type of form for people to develop uh, additional plugins maybe like you know third not third party plugins but almost like uh, freeware plugins and uh, just make it easier to find there's some other options here beat detect and audio gain if you're working with the music and some really quick options as well that you can easily get to if you want to move around your audio and your video you can click it and then you click on link audio and video and then we have them separated and then actually if I want to either cut say I just want to cut the video right here I could do that next to cut the only problem is when I do that 
it slides it down and then stuff will be out of sync again and I have not found a way to stop that from happening except moving along here clicking this and if I click delete um, that should work and same thing if I do delete here if you want to bring the video together you can do let's see so we can do this we have both of them here and say like that so if I were to click that it's going to bring it together delete and close gap and if I don't want to move it if I want to leave a space for some reason you can do delete just like that otherwise I mean I think everything's really really professional the design is very easy to use maybe the option to open up um, you know, another monitor window might be good we have safe margins which uh, will help you if you're doing anything for TV you have your uh, title safe area and then at the end we have of course our publish and share options now Adobe has gone ahead and added a share option for YouTube and Vimeo you can go right to it so we have we can build a web DVD um, a disc for everything from DVD blu-ray AVC HD disc we can upload online see if it will open up without the internet connection no, it might not but we can also export for mobile phones and uh, various device players there's tons and tons of presets in here um, so here these are a bunch of the presets if you're going to export to the computer you have you know flash presets which is great for YouTube MPEG AVC HD AVI Windows Media QuickTime Image Audio and you have tons and tons of different ones and of course we have the band settings too so you can really get uh, you know pretty deep down in there to make sure you get the best quality and you know if you see a quality of something online and you're not sure like if you're uh, streaming some you know movies um, online that download maybe as QuickTime or Windows Media you can always check their settings and kind of mimic that when you export uh, one of the only other things that I will mention right here is if we go to the project settings uh, you know we have all these settings here I actually want to show you if we go to a new project we have a lot of settings that we can use obviously this this says flip minnow HD it kind of auto detected what it was but we can go ahead and we can change the settings to a bunch of these but um, again as a professional user I would like to have the option to um, edit these presets um, you know even if there's a, a just a few spots for like my own presets where I can save them separately you know sometimes you know you want to change some stuff around um, Typically these are fine, but it really would be helpful. Besides that, you can force select so the project settings stay the same. Um, all I can say is that Adobe has done an excellent job with Adobe Premiere Elements 11. Um, the software is great, easy to use. You have a quick mode and an expert mode. I highly recommend it. I give it one damn good review. And uh, coming up soon, we're also going to review Photoshop Elements 11. So uh, stay tuned. And thanks for watching.